the treatment of the sarcoidosis mainly depends upon three important factors the first thing is whether the patient is having symptoms or not second one is uh, what is the organ which is involved and third one is what is the extent in the severity of the involvement of the organs so the main treatment uh, modality that we give is the oral medication uh, that is corticosteroids with the prednisolone so we usually start with moderate to high doses of the steroids and we give it for one or two months then we slowly taper it down to the less possible dose wherein the patient is experiencing no symptoms or very less symptoms and when we say steroids or when we give steroids people often they tend to stop the medicine abruptly or take very less doses uh, than that we prescribe this is basically because most of them they fear about the adverse effects of the steroids so yes steroids can have uh, some side effects but it is important to understand that in sarcoidosis you may have to take steroids for longer duration maybe for one year or more because the granulomas which is responsible for the sarcoidosis really takes long time to resolve so it is important to take the steroid medicines as the doctors advise and uh, there are some other medicines which are called steroid sparing medicines for example methotrexate azathioprine mycophenolic morphetil and some anti tnf agents like infliximab and adalimumab these drugs can also be given along with the steroids when these medicines are given they kind of they take the job of the steroids so that we can slowly reduce the dose of the steroids and stop them so it is always important to continue the medicines as advised by your healthcare professional